September is Heritage Month and oral traditions are a big part of South Africa's heritage. Zolani Mgiva is one of the most famous praise singers in the country. He joins us now. Zolani, thank you very much for coming in this morning. Very good to be with you. Uh, now, I, I must ask you, what is, what is the place that, that praise poetry currently enjoys in our country? Do, is there a space for it in our country right Certainly, now? Certainly, there is a huge space for praise poetry. Remember that praise poetry is essentially part of our DNA as a people, as Africans in general, because we've got clan names which form the basis of our identity, and therefore each and every clan therefore has a praise poet, so to say, what you call Imbongi, because those are the people who articulate um, those clan names, and they are able to trace them back from time immemorial, because they are the ones that carry, you know, the, the, the knitting uh, lace that laces our, our history and heritage that dates back from many, many, many centuries ago. And praise singers, therefore, are the oral librarians, if you like. Uh, of, of African history and heritage. How, how are you groomed w within your, your clan to become a praise singer? It's a very systematic way of grooming um, children generally because it's not only one child that gets picked up to articulate the clan names and the history of the family and the history of the community and the nation. But it's something that is done systematically from storytelling to folklore to music and it's infused in all the cultural ceremonies of what so you tend you you are systematically systematically couched to understand broadly and you are also given the specifics and therefore one out of those children in that particular family will then rise up and be you know the one who carries the flag uh, of that particular clan community, nation, and so on. Okay, we, uh, it's an amazing tradition. We, we, are, we are celebrating Heritage Month in, in the country in September. Uh, of course, with, with the bombardment of other media, now that South Africa has joined the global village, is praise poetry becoming obsolete, or, or do you think it's having the opposite effect? Well, yes and no. You know, that's how I can answer. It, it depends on what you do with media and what you do with technology. Technology must not lead you. You must guide it to do what it wants to what you want to communicate. Once you allow yourself to be dragged by technology, then you will be left behind. So, at all material times, as Africans, let's appreciate the development of an, an innovation of things like uh, technology. But let them happen under our own stewardship, so that at all material times we guide what needs to happen and what we want to communicate. We take and learn from the best in the world, but it must happen under us. As long as we do that, we will not lose focus and we will be able to communicate what is right in terms of our values. Once we allow technology and media to tell us what to do, then we will sink. Very, very interesting point there. Now, uh, Zolani, I believe that you've been working on a piece of praise poetry for us, and I'm going to ask you to share that with our viewers this morning. Won't you, won't you go ahead and do that for us? A child was born some time ago, dissocialized and disorientated, bad mannered and bad natured. Today is the rebirth of the African child. Today the African child is born again, ready to be issued with a new birthday certificate. The lotion for motion has been issued. Let us be the thinkers of the great thoughts. Let us be the doers of the great deeds. Achievement never yet was given to the people as a gift, but as a reward, bravely and through enormous hard work. Let us tell the whole world that Africa is the mother continent. Tell them, them tell. Tell them that, that them tell, them that tell. Tell them that Africa is the continent of the future. Let us foreground our heritage. Let us mainstream our Africanness. Yes, Africa Maluju, Africa Harambe, Africa Uhuru. I love that, Zulani. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for coming in to talk to us. Much, much appreciated. Cheers. News that moves. ENCA.com.